everybody's chef with nobody else's auto. Tonight, we're gonna catch some new inventory that's been coming in. I've kind of neglected a little bit of this. We've been hitting so much of the stuff in the new yard, but I've still got cars coming in weekly. So we're gonna keep, catch a few of those tonight and uh, get some of that stuff squeezed in over here over the next week or two and keep some stuff, cool stuff coming from the new yard. So we'll start off with this 47 Kaiser here. This one, uh, I did a real quick live, uh, live on location when I picked this car up out in a pasture out in Western Kansas cool car don't know a lot about them one of the i think it was the first year for the kaiser car and uh really unique look super cool grill on these things this one's actually intact it's not all busted up it's missing the kaiser badges there but it's got an awesome hood ornament on it um so pretty neat looking car four bumper guards across the front one thing about these kaisers is the sides were kind of plain this didn't have a lot of side trim on it or anything to really make it stand out so that was, they kind of look kind of plain from the side. If we come along the side here, these have really unique door handles on them. Just looks like a flat curve is all it looks like. You've actually got to reach in behind them and pull them from the back side. So kind of a unique feature there on these Kaisers. Work our way on around the back. Kind of has a little hook, hump out in the back bumper there. Still got the Kaiser emblem on the trunk. Once again, the back's pretty plain. These weren't super exciting cars. Like I said, I think this was their first year of production after World War II. Um, you know, Henry Kaiser built battleships and, and merchant ships and things like that in the war. So the Kaiser Automobile Company came out after that. So that's probably why these were kind of plain, more utilitarian looking. They were just getting their feet under them, just getting rolling with production. So I think that's why these earlier Kaisers were kind of plain looking. You know, obviously down the left side looks about the same take a look inside of this car dash is all still there horn rings kind of cool it mounts kind of on the back side of the steering wheel still got the kaiser hood horn bat horn button in it or steering wheel center i guess so definitely a unique car not the most popular car in the world but it's different and that's what's cool you know you don't see these every day you don't find them every day so Definitely got to bring them in and save them. Next to the Kaiser, we'll work our way on over to this Buick. 69 Electra. Um, this is another one to come in from Dad's place. He's got one more lot. We got the big lot cleaned off, but we've got about 30 more cars yet to move throughout this year. So we'll still have a few things coming in from there. That's where the 69 Electra came from. This car's for the most part there. The front bumper and grill assembly is gone. Side of it, the dash and everything's all still in it. Work our way on around the back. You know, back bumper, tail lights, everything's still pretty much intact on this car. Missing a few little pieces of trim here and there, but minimal rust, pretty straight old car. We come up here up to the front. Take a look under the hood. It's still got the 430 in it, the big Buick 430 motor. So, still a lot of saveable pieces on that one. Last one we're going to bring you tonight got a 64 Chevy Bel Air four door. Kind of just an old car that looks like it got parked. Um, all pretty much body panels and everything's all still here. It's dinged up and dented up a little bit. Somebody put cutlass wheels on it at some point, so they were probably cruising it around like that. But uh, not a terrible old car. Just a four-door, but even the four-door stuff's getting hard to find. So definitely want to save it, don't want to save it, bring it in and line it up because somebody's going to need something off of it. But all the way down the side of this car, still got the Bel Air badges on it. Missing a few pieces of trim on the back around the tail lights, but the tail lights there, the bumper's still there. This side's kind of about the same way. Got cutlass wheels all the way around. Take a peek inside all the dash and everything's all still intact in it. So it's kind of crazy that it is just a four door, but anymore even the four door stuff's getting kind of tough to find. So we're gonna bring them in, line them up, and there's gonna be stuff people need off of them. So anyway, that's what we've got for tonight. Got some more new inventory to bring you. Going to work on some other cool stuff too. So, 
as always, appreciate you hanging out with us tonight. Appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your day to hang out with me and check some cool stuff out. As always, if you have questions, give me a call, 620-786-4428. That's the only way to get a hold of me to talk about what you need to see if there's anything I've got that can help you with your project. If you're on Facebook, uh, please like the page and tell your friends. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe, and uh, we will keep bringing you some more cool stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next episode.